maintaining a good mental health is just as important in school as any other part of life, which is why St. Patrick's mm. Mental Health Service have continued their Walk in My Shoes campaign to give schools the resources to cope with the needs of pupils. With us to explain our 2FM DJ and Can't Stop Dancing presenter, Blonde Tracy and Paul Gilligan, CEO of St. Patrick's Mental Health Services. Paul, if we could start with you, you were saying to me just before we come on, this is the second year of this initiative, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've, we, 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 10 years ago, we launched a, a campaign called Walk In My Shoes. Um, and part of that is every year we, we launch different projects. This was so successful last year, we said we'd run it again this year. And the main focus of this year is trying to help teachers uh, create a mentally healthy environment, emotionally healthy environment in schools. And so we've present, we've You're we've, doing that provide, by providing them with resources? Exactly, on, online resources, okay. which Blonde's going to talk about now in a minute, because mm -hmm. uh, we're delighted to have her as one of our ambassadors, so it's, it's great. But yeah, we're, 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 all the time we're focusing on this idea of prevention, preventing mental health, uh, health difficulties from arising and creating awareness, getting young people to talk about mental health, mm. and most importantly, getting young people to take responsibility for their own mental health. And I've noticed even, Blana, good morning, by the good way. Morning. I've even yes. noticed <laughs> that, that this week, my, my lads who are 10 and 8, two of the lads, 10 and 8, uh, they part of their homework this week was they were brought, they, they're talking about bullying mm -hmm. and, talk, and talking about feelings. Oh, and they literally got a list of things, like things, what would make you scared? Who, who do you trust? Well, it's to encourage a conversation at exactly, home as part yeah. of your homework. Yeah. Is this more the same kind of vibe? Yeah, it that? really yeah. is. So they're, they're launching uh, this resource pack, which is incredible. It's free to download on their website. Very and inside it, it's great because you get to be really creative. Yeah. So we have our origami as well, which everyone knows now, about these. You get every one of these. Yeah. I okay, haven't so seen them since primary school. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, okay, so Lisa, uh, red. Okay, so pick a colour. <laughs> oh, um, yellow today. Yellow. Why not? Okay, so Y E L L O W. Okay, pick a number. Remember that? Four. Four. One, two, three, four. Pick a number. Seven. Seven. Okay, so then you open it up. And what does it say? Uh, so, uh, follow your happy. There you go. Follow, follow, follow your, follow happy. your happy. I will yeah. follow my happy. So, no, like, on, there's lots brilliant. of kind of positive stuff in there. So, basically, in these resource packs that you download, I'll open it up here and you can see it. And this is uh, to download for all your teachers and stuff. So, inside, we've got um, sketching, so you can colour that in. And that's all about mindfulness. Oh, yeah. Let's show, show the camera. You can okay. see there. What else have we got in here? Then we have this, which I love. It's a, it's a wellness wall. Uh, so, you can bring this into schools. So, you put... So, for example, say somebody in the class, maybe they might be a little bit shy for some reason or something may be going on, maybe somebody might be getting picked on or something. So what you could do is maybe put their name in the middle and get the whole class to write them. something positive about them. So oh, then that really that. boosts their confidence, which is great. I love that. There's you actually on the kind of obviously the blown up bigger yes, size. Exactly. Yeah. I know I had all these students telling me all these wonderful things about me. It was fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> and then also we have this. So it's the origami inside. So you can just and there's all the instructions on how to do it. So you just chop it out and you can make it. And like it's really creative. Let's see some of them that says, be awesome today, make someone smile, be nice. We'll put, give that over to Simon. <laughs> I'm only joking. Uh, be kind, shine brightly, and you are amazing. No, they're really, really great. They're really yeah. self-positive. It's all about self-worth. Exactly. And, and kind and of respecting getting, others. This is it. And kind of boosting each other up. Because especially when you're in schools, there can be lots of cliques. And, you know, maybe people are a little bit kind of hostile towards each other. Whatever yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. this kind of brings the whole class together and it gets the teacher involved. And it's all about positivity and fun. And also, it's good to be using your hands, you're getting creative. It's, it's tactile. Exactly. And, and Paul, in terms of, I mean, I know this is only the second year of the initiative, but yeah. and it's probably very early to tell, but can you can the teachers, are you getting feedback in terms of, can you see results coming from this work even last year? Yeah, I mean, even just yesterday, I mean, we saw, you know, over 150,000 Twitter messages. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the amount of downloads is incredible. Oh, cool. Last year, the feedback was was really positive, primarily because of this concept. I mean, the selfie is really interesting because it gets people to reflect about themselves. Yeah. And so a very simple idea, as you've said, a very simple idea turned into a really powerful idea. And that's why we've 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 continued it this year. So, yeah, the feedback has been really strong. And it's strong, kind of like you know? anything with kids. and it, it, You just have to engage them. Mm -hmm. And this yeah. is this, the selfies. This is what and kids are engaged with. Everything. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's tactile. It? Yeah. In, in terms of obviously, um, like Adam Clayton, he's been involved and is involved this year as well. I mean, to get somebody of that ilk, including yourself, Lorna, <laughs> you know, but for Not you quite the same as Adam Clayton. Well, <laughs> but to have that, it, it's, it's amazing that, you know, everybody wants to help. Everybody wants to be involved, yeah. Paul, don't yeah. they? Yeah, we've been, we've been really lucky. I mean, we have... Adam has been a, a supporter of ours for years. Mm. I mean, he, he has really 
been the person who's driven the Walk On My Shoes. To get people like Blondin on board this year is really great. And what we're trying to do is focus on all of the age groups. So all of these ambassadors mean uh, something to different cohorts of people, yeah. and that's, that's the key. And it's also, it's normalising the conversations mm. around mental health. It's great when you have people with a public profile who are prepared to go out there and talk about these things, because that's much more powerful than having the professionals... As you say, it normalises the, the, the part, yeah. and it brings it into the kids' everyday yeah. conversation, everyday languages, like that homework that my lads are bringing at home. Yeah. When they say, exactly. what, who do you trust? And you actually, ask, when you ask that question... They have to sit down, they think about it. Well, who would I trust? Because the question was, who would you go to if you had a problem? Yeah. And yeah. they said, well, they go to mammy and daddy, we teach, and then they start naming friends. And you, it just gets them to think about mm -hmm. it. It's also, it's also interesting to, to, to remind parents that sometimes this can be a challenge. They have to stay open because uh, th their, their involvement, their support for this is really exactly. important. Exactly. Now, yeah. I have to ask, Blonde, because <clears throat> obviously Dancing with the Stars is yes. literally just finished. Mm -hmm. You were doing the show. You loved it. Yeah. Tell us about it all. And, of course, the controversy that we were hearing about, about the winner. Uh, OK, oh, so I was doing the, the preview <laughs> show, Can't Stop Dancing, uh, which was on Friday nights before the Sunday night show. So I was kind of giving you the inside scoop and interviewing the judges and the stars. And uh, it was incredible. The feedback was uh, amazing. I was kind of waiting for... The a little bit of negativity, great, but there was, was none. It was strange. Uh, but yeah, the vibe on yeah. set. There yeah. you go. Boom. I mean, it was what amazing. A <laughs> what a shot. But that was the thing, like watching those professional dancers move. Yeah. It's just yeah. incredible. You, you, like, you literally are moved to tears sometimes when, they're, mm. when they dance yeah. because it's Panthers just so beautiful. They? so beautiful. Um, I know, yeah, there was a few people who were kind of talking about the winner, but I have to say, improvement wise, Aiden, the first day when he stepped out and danced, he couldn't dance. And the last day, he was getting tens. Mm. So that's like the, the big biggest improvement that we had on the show. He was incredible and such a gentleman. I mean, his wife had a baby in the meantime while the right. show was going yeah. on. Goodness. He's also a guard, so he was working. everyone was working really, really hard and it was just such an amazing project you know, to be involved you, you can't please all the people all the time. No, if somebody else had won, there would have been a but problem. But the public saying, voted. Yeah. Well, exactly, yeah. yeah. And also, that thing, I, I like that when you said when the show started, everybody was kind of expecting, oh, this is going to get hammered. They're going to slate it. Yeah. And it was absolutely the opposite. Yes, I think People everyone... People got behind it and yeah. loved the show. And watched it. Oh, like, I love it. Yeah, yeah, because I think everyone sort of thought, right, this is going to be a poor version of another one that we've seen across the pond. But actually, yeah. it mm -hmm. was incredible standard. And we did it on a fraction of the budget that the other, other countries have done it on. And I think we, everyone who has been involved have, are really proud of it because it looks great. I mean, the costumes and everything well, were that just was gorgeous. It, they? Yeah. Wow, they blew me away yeah. because, you know, you want them to be really spot on. And yes, they were. They were. Beautiful. Exactly. And it was just yeah. a bit of fun and lightheartedness right. on a Sunday because a lot of the time there's a lot of negativity on TV and with the news and everything. And this was and just look, switch off and It's enjoy. all about positivity, yeah. which yeah. is yeah. Exactly. why you're here, Paul. Just very quickly before we go, if people want details or want to get involved, I know you're probably sending the packs out to the schools and that. Well, give us a website address somewhere well, where we can go. Welcomeyshoes.ie. Very easy to remember. Welcomeyshoes.ie. Yeah, or St. Patrick's Mental Health Services.ie equally. Both websites. Perfect. Thank you for involved. coming Thank in. Thank you guys. so much for getting uh, Thank you getting the time to come here today and for you as well. You've hung up your dancing shoes. That's yes. it. Until next season. Until next season. Thanks, Thank guys. you. Thanks for coming. Thanks.